And I rise to talk about the Banking Royal Commission and to highlight the efforts of one of my constituents, Michelle Matheson. When I recently met with Michelle, she explained to me how vital it is that the terms of the Royal Commission are widened and the uh, uh, duration of the Royal Commission is also lengthened. And I want to thank her for her steely courage and determination in pursuing the outrageous practices of the lender she was a victim of. Michelle is a single mother and works three jobs, and the impact the advice and the behaviour she was subject to has shattered her and her family's world, particularly her elderly mother. The Banking Royal Commission would not have happened if it was not for Australians like Michelle pressuring the government to hold a full inquiry. Uh, Michelle has been to Canberra before, and the current Prime Minister was even asked a question about a particular circumstance in question time. This is whilst he was still denying there was anything wrong with the banking and financial services sector when he would say almost anything on a daily basis that there was nothing to see here and what a waste of money the Royal Commission would be. And when he was asked about Michelle's circumstances, the current Prime Minister, for at least the next half hour, arrogantly declared that a Royal Commission would be of no assistance to her or other victims. And I briefly want to note that the uh, likely next Prime Minister, the member for Dixon, voted 22 times to block a royal commission into the banking and financial services sector. This new conservative saviour of the Liberals, the member for Dixon, didn't want to borrow the royal commission. And odd as it may seem, he was on the unity ticket with the current prime minister in trying to stop it. It doesn't matter who leads this rabble that masquerades as a government, Mr Deputy Speaker. The member for Dixon has the same form as the Prime Minister, denying justice for victims of the banking and financial services sector, indeed voting to give the banks a $17 billion tax cut at the same time as cutting penalty rates. Let there be no, no mistake, this government is dragged kicking and screaming to establish the Royal Commission into their mates at the big end of town. The Liberals and Nationals have stated on the record it's regrettable that a Royal Commission is occurring. And it's only because of the courage of my constituent Michelle and tens of thousands of others like her who have suffered that the Royal Commission has occurred. And I pay tribute to her today and wish her and her family well and all those brave victims fighting for justice.